Hey, we're, we're here with uh, week three at uh, Warrenville Ultimate Hoops at Lifetime Fitness. I'm Chance, this is Chad. Kind of breaking down the night, we had three gay, great games to end the night. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, first game up we had the White Rockets and No Size Light. Tell me a little bit about that game, what did you guys think, and uh, yeah, what would you think? Uh, well. No size got out to a really good start and went up by about 25, and at that point you kind of thought it was over. But uh, Devon Moneyham kind of started protecting the glass a little bit for No Size Light and to let him back into the game from 25, got it down to one. Um, but you know the big guy uh, Tony Razzo down low was was cleaning things up for No Size, and Dave Melby was back this week with them, so he gave them an outside presence. Um, but in the end. It was just too big of a too big of a hole to come out of. They couldn't quite get it done, no matter what Money Ham could bring to the table. Yeah, no size. Uh, last season had MVP uh, Jason Hayes, so I mean that team's always solid. Uh, really well together. Yeah. Um, so second game of the night, we had No One Wants Us and uh, Boom Squad. Uh, big game, high scoring game. Uh, it seemed like teams were a little tired, but uh, it was a close game to end it out. What'd you think? Um, I think Boom Squad came out kind of kind of slow. They weren't really in rhythm very well, but at the same time, uh, no one wants us. Was they were turning the ball over like crazy? Um, their point guard was he was making some nice passes, you know, passing down low to you and whatnot. But they, some of them just cross court. Boom Squad did a good job getting in the passing lanes and getting some good transition buckets. And in the end. Uh, they have, you know, they probably have the most firepower in the league right now, and it's hard to keep up with them if you're throwing turnovers. Yeah, it seemed like when no one wants us would get on a roll, Mike Avalon would just come come at the elbow and hit a shot. So it's pretty crucial. So final game of the night, uh, White Rockets had a doubleheader with you guys, um, Boom Squad. Uh, wrapped it up. You guys, someone scored over 108 points, so that was pretty cool. Um, High scoring game. How did it? How did it wrap up things? Uh, well, White Rockets. They they were very undersized. So no matter what um, they tried to do, get in the lane, they really couldn't because Boom Squad would get a rebound and then you know we, they could leak out, get some easy buckets down court, and that's pretty much how the game went. So it was pretty much them in control the whole time. So Boom Squad Squad went two and zero on the night. White Rockets went zero and two tough break but uh yeah that's week three here at warrenville lifetime hoops so uh yeah that's it we'll see you guys next week